In this video, let's quickly take a look at the dependencies field in package.json, which is very, very important for managing installed packages. If you can recollect from the previous video, the dependencies field was created and populated when we installed the uppercase package. Now this dependencies field is a way for NPM to track the packages that are required for the functioning of our code. Currently, our project depends on the uppercase package. Where this list comes in really handy is when you work with version control. In a real world application, the dependencies list might contain anywhere between 5 and 50 different NPM packages. All the code would be present in the node modules folder. And this folder can be megabytes in size. Instead of committing this folder to source control, we will git ignore it. Which means when another developer in our team clones the code, they will not have the node modules folder. Let me delete it to mimic the scenario. If we now rerun node index, you can see we have an error. Cannot find module upper hyphen case. So the developer now understands they need to install one or more modules or packages that our project is dependent on. And that list of packages, as you might have already guessed, is what the dependencies field represents. Our project has one dependency, which we can install using the command npm install upper hyphen case. Now, if it is just the one package, sure, we can run this command. But what if there are 50 packages? Do we need to install them one at a time? Well, no. This is where the npm CLI comes in handy. In the terminal, we can run the command npm install. This will scan package.json for any dependencies and automatically install them. You can see the node modules folder is regenerated. We can now go about our normal development work. We run node index and our tiny project continues to work as expected. This is the role of the dependencies field in package.json configuration file. Hopefully you're slowly able to understand the need of a package manager such as npm. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.